I've been working on it for a little while. Appreciate that. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but on the front of this building, there's two different doors, and one goes upstairs to Liquid Lounge, and the other one goes downstairs to Journey Church. And I can only imagine there are some epic stories about someone going in the wrong door. So if you got one of those stories, I'd love to hear it sometime. Um, I was watching the Portland News the other night, and they were talking about a suspect they were looking for. He was a young male in a hooded sweatshirt with a backwards baseball cap. And I thought, that kind of feels like that's a lot of people. Like, that's kind of a broad uh, description of the suspect. And I was thinking, what if they were looking for someone in Bend? And they described him as a white male, somewhere between 20 and 45. It's hard to tell because he's so fit. And he's driving a Subaru Outback with a dog in it and a bicycle on top. And I was thinking, I know that guy. And I think, I think you might know that guy too. In fact, you might be that guy right now. But uh, Ben's a funny town. People are so into fitness. I was driving the other day, and I say people are so into fitness, and I was driving, of course, not riding my bike. Uh, and I see this guy riding his bike, and he is, he's 50s, he's good size. I mean, he's a, he's a good size guy, and he is head to toe Lycra spandex. It's tight in this region. He's, he's, he's got the tights on. And he comes to us four way stop at the light, and you know, the cool guys, they don't unclip their pedals and step off. They do a bike stand, you know? So he, he gets the bike stand going where he is, he's down here on the bike. Shh, can hold this. He's down here and he's just working it. And he's just, he's got these moves. He's not gonna put his feet down. And he's just really working it. He's off the seat. And I'm thinking, well, that's really impressive. This guy's like a, like a really uh, graceful grizzly bear. And he's just really working it, and he's, he's feeling good about himself, but what he doesn't realize is the car full of teenage girls right here is going. So, true, true story, uh, speaking of teenage girls in a car, I was driving from uh, Bend to Burns and late at night, and I was the first one on a car accident. And it was a car full of teenage girls, and I get there, and uh, they all ended up being okay, so don't worry, the story's not horrible. I was really scared when I got there because I don't like blood or guts or anything. Well, I used to not like that stuff, but now I'm pretty hard. People kind of think I've got this edge about me lately, and uh, I didn't serve anywhere or anything, but I did watch every episode of The Walking Dead. So that kind of stuff doesn't face me anymore. So anyways, I come up to the car, I've got my phone, I call 911, I'm like, 911, you know, ah, this car's upside down, the wheels are still spinning, I get there and the girls are still seat belted in the car, they're upside down, I've been talking to the dispatcher for a little bit, and I can't get the doors open. So I finally am like, all right, this is gonna be epic, like this is gonna be the most sick moment of my life, I'm just gonna get down and I'm gonna rip this door off. And I'm just thinking, this sucks that I'm by myself, like why are none of my friends watching this? So I get down there and I'm ready, I've got the phone on my shoulder, and the dispatcher asks me a question, and I say, not now, I'm about to rip this door off. And she says, I need you to answer the question, ma'am. <laughs> My greatest moment of epicness, and she just lays that one out on me. And uh, it was an old school cell phone, like a flip phone, and so I, I was kind of at a loss. If it had been my iPhone, I was gonna say, hang on, what's your cell number? I'm gonna call you right back, I'm gonna FaceTime you. I want you to see this beard, okay? Okay? Thanks a lot, everybody. Woo!